どんなことだかわかりかけてきた。言葉で言えない。胸の温かさ、遠回りをしてた。人生だけど、君だけが今では。愛のすべて、時の歩み、いつもそばで分かち合える。It was more like a flat space and an industrial park, and when you looked out your window, you saw more steel and stone. And my experience of green in Tokyo was that as well. It's an incredible energy in that city. It's amazing, but nature there again is confined to these very isolated spaces. It is not integrated with the city. Kyoto totally subverts that expectation of nature. When you come here, you have the Kamigawa River. That is this huge focal point that people are spending time next to, and it's beautiful all along. You have these canals that are ever present throughout the city and are lined by cherry trees, and the experience of nature does not need to be divorced of an urban experience. You can come here and see that actually these two can coexist together and are enriched by each other. So if there's one thing that I've learned, whether it's I live in North America or I live in Japan, population density matters and totally changes your experience of a place. Like I said, I've lived in the Japanese countryside, and it was okay for me because I made a core group of friends there. But if you didn't have them, it can be really lonely. Conversely, if you live in Tokyo, you don't fault people there that they seem a little bit more cold. It's because the population density is so intense. That to consider every single person who comes across your path would be totally overwhelming, but when you are here in Kyoto, you get a sweet spot where there's enough people that you feel like you'll have spontaneous, interesting sort of social interactions you would not if the population density wasn't high enough, but not so dense that it feels overwhelming. And one of the coolest places that you can have an experience like that is along here on the Kamigawa River. Fascinatingly, Kyoto has a law regarding how high you can build structures here, and that is that it can only reach a maximum height, but it is limited as compared to other super cities like Tokyo. And of course, that changes your kind of interaction and sense of the city when you live here or come here to visit. In Tokyo, it can be exciting to go to somewhere like Shinjuku, where you got your massive mega buildings, but they can get to such a scale, to such a size. That it can feel inaccessible, like what's little old me doing here. But in Kyoto, where that is managed, there's no place that feels off limits, and I have the sense that exploration here is just that much more welcoming because it's taken into consideration. What a beautiful city! It's incredible, and I'm so excited to be able to share it now that I've moved here. If you're new to the channel, thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate that. Please do subscribe. Please hit the bell notification. All that stuff. It's what makes the world go round here on YouTube. So I got to mention it.、Uh, if you've been following up until this point, we made it, guys. I'm alive. I made it to Kyoto, and now we're gonna have all this awesome Kansai content that I'm able to make for the channel. If you don't already, please do consider supporting me on Patreon. We got some cool stuff there, and as I'm dedicated to this full time now, there'll be so much more content released as well.、It、means the world to me again. Really appreciate you for that. That is all for this video. It was a ton of fun to make, and there will be so many more like it coming soon. Take care out there, guys.